these four sites I'm about to show you will help you guys with gaining inspiration, make you guys look good to your creative leaders, help you with actually telling a story to sell your art more, and just some really dope stuff. My name is Sesso, and I, of course, try my best to give you guys the absolute most best resources, the usable ones, and I'm going to start off right now with my own. Selfie.com, HQ, or just SessoHQ.com if you want to check out the Everything Pack. It's my product where I basically want to spoil you for the rest of your life. It's about 23 products on purchase plus all future products for free forever. Join or not description down below. So the actual first site is known as eye candy. It's probably one of the most valuable sites that I can point out for aspiring creative directors or art directors probably this year. It's a collection of curated cinematography with super descriptive characteristics on what the effects actually are. And of course, visual references across the world. This is obviously incredibly helpful for photographers and videographers, but also designers too. I'll be honest, if you're looking to be more than just a graphic designer, maybe like a senior designer, or like a creative director, art director, all that good stuff. Understanding if you actually were to take some of these shots and put them in a pitch deck for like a possible new different cool campaign happening in like a six months or whatnot you'll probably be their best friends and of course what happens sometimes at least you know if you show creative ambition and all that good stuff you get a title change and you get pay raise so like just, this site's gonna be gold for me now up next is a site called steep now, if there's certain aspects of a design that I don't enjoy, it's probably going to be designing in vertical dimensions. I hate it. Steep, however, showcases a large catalog of archived successful IG format designs and ads, of course, in IG dimensions, but also lists and categorize them so you can actually find a style you need and use it for inspiration. A lot of the times designed for a lot of younger designers is just making it look good. I guess the part that makes it make it great design is making sure you, of course, convey the mood and the messaging. So what I'm saying is you would end up probably definitely wanting to bookmark this because not only will it help you, of course, with vertical formats, on how to fit some space, text, all that good stuff. Also, just a really good site for inspiration on like how to like just command a certain mood. And with like short form content becoming like a consistent thing across like all things everywhere. Get on it. Logos Club. With all the G's in its name, they couldn't fit the W that the site deserves. The first offer a lot of logo artists is Dribble or Behance when looking for like logo inspiration. But this site is actually OP. Not only can you organize via typography weight or spacing, seeing how possible companies work with their actual type choices, or maybe you want to search by their color category to help understand how they may be grouped or even like manipulated certain colors. But also they have case studies for majority of these logos. But the cool part is for the case study, you can actually, of course, look at the process and how they actually ended up determining how they made the logo, but also probably how they ended up selling it to the actual clients themselves. So if you're a logo artist, still struggling with like selling a logo for more than hundred bucks, this is what you probably have to do. Create a presentation. There's your in. A lot of the time for young artists, inspiration is kind of useless that like hand holding you through the door and where to look. So if you're a branding artist or designer yourself, absolutely click and check it out if it wasn't clear. Now, however, though, this last site is an absolute gem for a, a few reasons, actually. One, if you're a web designer, I'd absolutely stick around. It's called curated.design. It's a simple name to probably understand because of the theme of this episode, it's a category of curated web design inspiration, but also active sites that can genuinely help you out as well. And probably a cool place to just know what awesome, cool tech is around the world. So whether if you're looking for inspiration on tech sites and how they kind of look, Techie, you can give a scroll through their tech category and pick a site and then even click through and see how they actually navigated that overall idea. Maybe it was like what kind of fonts they use or what kind of typography they had or like the spacing or just like colors, all the good stuff. Honestly, it's a really cool site that you can dive into and find rabbit holes that you probably never knew you needed. I've been using these for like a good two or three weeks so far and I genuinely, genuinely, genuinely have seen a proper just like relief of just like inspiration and where to like look and how to look and all that good stuff because uh, the, the hardest part about design is staying inspired but also knowing how to actually get the inspiration and taking it and consuming it and putting applying it to something else, right? That's what I'm hoping a lot of these sites will end up doing for you. So with that being said, Sesso HQ out. We're gonna get to keep smiling, stay positive, positive and stay a freaking product guys that are much love peace and don't forget check out sensory.com for the everything pack and that's like mood boards obviously i find them important later